Hello everyone and welcome to this garbage video that I have made. Lately Among OS has been getting a bit of attention, and recently I discovered that the father of Linux has discovered Among OS. Yeah, that definitely wasn't him, or he is losing it. Anyways today I thought it would be a good idea to teach you the ways to sussen up your PC with Among OS. In this tutorial I will be teaching you how to install and run Among OS via two methods. The first method will be running the operating system bare metal. To do this, you will need a USB flash drive, preferably one that is USB 3.0. And for the second method, we will be using virtual machines to run the operating system. But first a question you might be asking, why use two methods for running the operating system for this tutorial? And to this I will say, it's very simple. If you have a weird or obscure graphics card, or you use an Nvidia card, Linux operating systems don't always have working graphics card drivers for every single card that exists. The card that I'm currently using is unfortunately included on this list. Therefore I will not be able to use bare metal for this tutorial. That being said, let's get right into this tutorial. We will be starting with the bare metal method. If you wish to use virtual machines just go ahead and skip to this timestamp. Anyways the first thing we will need to do is install the ISO from the GitHub or the developer's website. Links will be in the description down below. But if you are on the GitHub which is my personal preference of choice, go down to releases, click show more, and select the latest x64 version. In my case, that would be Among OS version 1.4.1, .1, a sussy Christmas. Go ahead and click it then go down to assets. And download the ISO file. If you are on the website go ahead and click download, then click direct download for the latest x64 version, and prepare for the spook of your life. Now that you have installed the ISO file, we are going to flash it to the USB drive. To do this, we will need universal USB installer, again links will be down in the description. Keep in mind you must be using Windows as this software is only compatible with Windows. Go ahead and download it. After you are done downloading UUI, we are now ready to begin flashing the USB. Plug in your USB drive. Make sure you do not have any important files on this drive, or else they will be Thanos away. At the time of flashing the USB, go to where UUI was installed and run the exe file. You may get a warning from Windows Defender. Wave it away by clicking more info and run anyway. Click I agree to the license agreement. Now we are in a small menu with three steps. For the first step select which operating system you will be using. Click the down menu and select among OS from other distros alphabetical. Next you will browse to the ISO you downloaded earlier. It should be in your downloads folder. If you don't remember. Lastly you will select which USB drive you will be flashing to. Make sure you select the right drive letter. Or you will make the wrong drive sus. Lastly, click create. And wait for the magic to happen before your eyes. Congratulations, you have made your USB drive extremely cursed. Now the last step is to power off your computer completely, plug in your USB, power on your computer, and go into your BIOS settings. Set your boot priority, so that the USB boots first, then exit and you will boot into Among OS. Congratulations you have made your computer sus. If you have tried to boot, and you are getting nothing but a black screen, then chances are, that your graphics card does not have a working driver for it yet. In which case you will need to use a virtual machine. Now with that out of the way, let's get started with the virtual machine method. There are two ways of doing this. Either you could use the developer's prepared OVA file or you could install the ISO. The developers recommend that you use the OVA file because it is designed to run on virtual machines as opposed to the ISO files, but it is your game, do what you like. The first thing we will need to do is install the ISO or OVA file from the GitHub or the developers website. Links will be in the description down below. But if you are on the GitHub which is my personal preference of choice, go down to releases, click show more, and select the latest x64 version. In my case, that would be Among OS version 1.4.1, .1, a sussy Christmas. Go ahead and click it, and if you are running ISO, go down to assets and download the ISO file. If you are running OVA go to change log, and install the virtual machine file. 
keep in mind this file is pre-prepared, so it is quite large, so go ahead and make yourself a cup of coffee while you wait, or battery acid, if that is your thing. If you are on the website go ahead and click download, then, if you are running ISO, click direct download for the latest x64 version, or if you are running OVA click VM image, and prepare for the spook of your life. Now that we have the ISO, we will now install VirtualBox. Keep in mind you can use whatever virtualization software that you wish to use, but VirtualBox is the one I will be selecting today. Go to VirtualBox's website, again all links will be in the description down below, and hit the big blue download button and select whatever host you are on. Keep in mind OSX refers to Mac OS. Wow. Imagine, now that you have installed the exe file for VirtualBox go ahead and install it by running the exe file. Now with that, if you are using an OVA file, just double click it and it will open up VirtualBox automatically. It has everything set up for you. Now just click import and wait for it to do its thing. Now you will have menu entry for among OS. Just click run and congratulations. You have made your computer unbelievably sus. For those who are using ISO, there is a bit more setup required, but worry not, I will guide you through it. First, open up VirtualBox, then click new. Give your virtual machine a good nickname. Think back to the days you named your Pokemon rival hilariously inappropriate nicknames. Now, for type select Linux, and for version select Debian 64. Click next and select how much memory or RAM you would like to use. I will use 8 GB since that is half of my memory, but feel free to use whatever you like, as long as the slider is in the green. Click create, VDI then next, dynamically allocated is fine. Choose how big you would like the virtual machine to be, keep in mind you cannot change this after you have created it, so make sure you choose what is right for you. I will choose 20 GB since I will not be using it that much. Now you have created the virtual machine. However we are not finished yet. We must tweak more things. Go into settings and select system. Then go to processor. You will see that by the slider here you can adjust how many threads you would like to give to your virtual machine. Make sure the slider is in the green, but give it as many as you would like. For me I will only give it 4, since that is what fits me. In display you can tweak your video memory, do whatever you would like, but in my opinion, it wouldn't hurt to give it as much as you possibly can, unless, you are on a potato laptop that barely made it past the year 2012. Wow, such cringe, in storage. Click empty under the controller IDE section, and select the disk symbol that is right next to the optical drive menu, then select choose a disk file. Browse to the ISO you downloaded earlier and select it. Now that you have done all of that, click OK and, if you click start you will be launched into Among OS. Congratulations, you have held your computer hostage and forced it to run the sussiest piece of software known to man, only topped by the OG Among Us game. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will be sure to upload some more content soon as my uploads are more inconsistent than Michael Reeves, but before I end the video, I want to quickly give a huge thanks to the developer team of Mung OS. According to their GitHub page, they are just two high school students that are making this entire project possible. Words cannot describe how much work was probably put into this gag operating system to get it from a simple funny operating system to something that is actually somewhat pretty and is usable. Also they helped me through some of the issues that I have been encountering with the operating system. So cheers to you guys. You are truly amazing. Also let me know if you guys would like a tutorial for the Raspberry Pi version of Among OS. Anyways that's pretty much it for this video. Stay safe. Stay sus. And see ya in the next one.